Oh. Well, well, today is a little different. What you see before me right now is a gaming laptop. I decided that I need to kind of put my money where my mouth is, and I talk a lot about gaming on console versus gaming on PC, but I personally have never gamed on PC. So I thought to myself, well, how do I change that? Well, I go out and I buy a PC. This is the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. Um, I went to Best Buy, I purchased it, it was on sale. I paid uh, $1,296, I believe is what the final ticket price was for this. It's brand new and it is the 2021 model. Uh, I know we are ending 2021 and I'm sure that they're gonna come out with the 2022 model, but this is gonna get me into the basics of PC gaming and I heard great things about this. Now the interesting thing is this, I'm gonna start unboxing this as I talk about it. The interesting is this, when it comes to the uh, gaming PC world, it is actually, and this is wild, less expensive to get yourself into gaming on a laptop than it is to get into gaming on a traditional gaming PC. That doesn't surprise me because of what's going on uh, with you know the whole world of uh, technology right now, but it is what it is. All right, let's see. I've never unboxed a PC before. Just so you guys know, I have used a Mac, Apple, whatever you want to call it, an Apple product as my main computing device since I was in, gosh, grade school. I've always been on a Mac. So this is actually my first ever experience with PC. I've installed Windows on my computer before, but that hasn't actually truly taken uh, root. I tried to work in it and it was buggy. So I'm like, you know what? I really got to invest. So let's see. Let's open this up completely. All right, I gotta take a sip of coffee, guys. You know, caffeinated. Mm. All right, let's see what this thing has to offer. Okay, that's uh, first off. The box is actually pretty cool, the way it presents itself. Um, it says ROG, Republic of Gaming. Oh, whoa, whoa, it pops. Okay, that's cool. It pops this computer op up and open, and that's that's really sick. This is nice and tiny for some for some comparison. I don't have my Mac with me here, but I do have a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro. This is the 14-inch uh, Asus RAW oh, Zephyrus G14. It has a bunch of ports. Wow, this looks really good. I'm so far super impressed with the box. It like pushed. Okay, I see. There's a mechanism, cardboard mechanism that pushes it up. Uh, here's a box here. Um, I gotta, you know, we're gonna move all this all over the place. This box right here, what do we have? We have these papers. Yeah, this is very large, but I get it because they wanna make it everything fit right here. So this is just, uh, okay. Paperwork, I believe. Yeah, G Series, cool. So I'm just gonna put that back in here. I don't wanna deal with that right now. Uh, this right here is the part of the power brick. And here is the rest of it. All right, pretty sizable, I suppose. It's bigger than a Mac one, um, bigger than what I'm used to, and it has a actual plug, which, again, I'm not used to that kind of stuff, but that, that is what it is. And I believe that's everything that's in here. Okay, well, let's close it up. That mechanism is super cool. Let's put this down on the ground. Uh, we have our power brick here, which looks nice. We have this. And we have the actual PC. This PC is really, really beautiful. I know very, very little. Uh, my initial thoughts when I look at this is the design is not is not bad. What I'm used to when it comes to computers is I'm used to Apple's design. And Apple has a very, very specific design language. This, this less is more kind of thing. And some people love it, some people hate it. I personally, I do love it. Um, just crack into this. Now, this is not a purchase that I made with intentions to return it. I know that some people do that. I don't. I fully intend on using this machine. Oh, so it's not plastic. Yeah, so that's something that I looked into. Is I was like, ah, PCs are always plastic. This isn't plastic. This is actually, from my research, some sort of aluminum of sorts. Um, okay, so this little plasticky cellophane wrap to keep it protected. Great, awesome. It is light. And that is it. If you guys can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the light, there's a, like a iridium kind of, not iridium, but iridescent type of like film behind this. Now you can get a model that this actual like perforated back or top case or not, or screen case is something that is uh, like, there's an animation behind it, but 
I didn't opt for that because again, I just wanted to get something, you know, an entry level. Now, the model that I have here, the specs are, um, it doesn't have the CPU specs, but it has the GPU, uh, which is a 3060, uh, RTX 3060. Um, now, I know that that's not the most powerful thing, but again, I'm not, this is a casual gaming channel and I didn't want to spend non-casual gaming prices. All right, well, we opened it up. Looking inside, it looks pretty nice. Now that's interesting. So the way that it, the mechanism here, um, when you open this, the display actually has a little rubber feet on it and it lifts the computer up off. And we have the, uh, okay, not so bad. That is a small trackpad in comparison to what I'm used to with Apple products. Uh, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, we have four actual, I mean, yeah, four actual directional keys. Um, I'm not a fan of these stickers, but they're not super, you know, intrusive. With the keyboard, it feels okay. It feels kind of spongy. I'm used to these kinds of keyboards with Apple products. Now with this specific model, it has been upgraded from the 2020 model. So they did fix some of the keyboard issues as well as the backlight. Um, this one does not have any sort of webcam. It's very, very basic in what it has, um, but the ports it has are pretty nice. It has HDMI, uh, USB-C, headphone jack, DC jack, and on the other side it has two. I believe these are USB three or four, I don't know. The, the normal USB and another USB-C port. Now, it doesn't have Thunderbolt four? Uh, now I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about with that. And the HDMI port is actually HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, which I know is a problem for some people, but for me, not so much of a problem because I'm not a hardcore gamer. So let's uh, let's turn it on. I'm, I, I'm not gonna take you through the whole setup process, but I do uh, want to bring you guys along my reaction because again, I've never ever done the PC thing before. This is wild. This is completely new and foreign to me. Does this go? Okay, so it doesn't go all the way down. I'm gonna turn it on and uh, let me change camera angles for you guys so that we can get you guys involved in this process and we'll get back after it. All right, we're gonna change, right? Okay, there we go. Over here now. Kind of a weird angle, but this is the only way I can get you to look at this and this at the same time. Okay, let's get this party started, shall we? So the, again, this is already got coffee on it. Again, this is my first ever PC. I've never owned one before, so I understand the basics of turning stuff on and getting stuff going, but I, I kind of wanted to take you through this first impressions and uh, see what we got going on here. So let's get this party started. Uh, first impressions with the build quality and everything, it's nice. It looks like, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to plug it in. Didn't know, but Turns out, it doesn't have battery charge right out the gates. I don't like the battery charger. It feels, it doesn't feel the way that my normal ones do. My normal ones being the Mac ones. The Apple ones are just so sleek in design. Um, this one is, you know, just a brick. I mean, it's branded, it's a branded brick nonetheless, but it's still just a brick with a bunch of cables. Um, that's always kind of been my criticism with PC stuff is it just doesn't look the way I want it to. Now, I understand that uh, different companies do it differently, so this I guess, okay, we got a little light here, it's charging, now let's try turning it on. All right, we got ourselves, uh, you know, it's, it's on, I see the lights underneath the keyboard, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Um, I wonder how long it's gonna take to boot up all the way. So I wanna turn that down because it's already, okay. All right, a little Republic of Gaming action. So I have the lights, the glare, there we go. The glare should be better right here. I, I plan on basically using this as a Steam machine. I don't want to, uh, you know, use this exclusively, although I am gonna be doing an exclusive challenge with it, but I wanna use this basically to run Steam games and to figure out, you know, how the PC game work. I am gonna do comparisons between um, Xbox, uh, the PC Game Pass, as well as games that are, you know, available on both. I'm Cortana, okay. and I'm here to help. A little yeah. sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay. Just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I definitely do. Oh, you whoa. 
So this is 144 hertz display and that is crazy. That looks pretty, holy moly. Okay, let's get this uh, setup process started. Uh, yes, we're in the United States. Uh, yes, US keyboard layout, skip that. Um, let's go ahead and I need to connect to mine. I'm gonna get the first steps uh, set up, so you guys hang tight, and uh, I'll meet back with you guys in just a second. All right, we're back. So setup wasn't necessarily the most intuitive. Um, definitely a different experience from my Apple experience. I'm currently in the process of updating just about everything inside, and there was a lot of different sign-ins I had to do, and you know, different pop-ups that were happening. I I'm just learning this uh, right now. I'm trying to figure out all of the intricacies. So it's gonna take a little bit of calibrating and getting myself ready. And I, I'm stoked, I, I'm stoked to learn a new thing. Most of all, I'm stoked to uh, get involved with the PC gaming and just understanding it because I want to have more of a robust understanding of the gaming community as a whole. And I realized there's a huge hole in my knowledge and it was this, PC gaming. So I, I'm going to be spending some time learning it and doing comparisons. Um, I'm a console gamer at heart. Uh, part of the reason why I got a PC is because this is the closest I can get to a console, right? I can move wherever I want in the room, I can do my thing, and uh, this guy also had the best bang for the buck, right? Being just over 1200 bucks uh, after tax, and it you know, has a 1080p display, but it's a 14, 144 hertz. It, you know, the color accuracy is good. This thing looks like it's going to actually uh, be able to do work. So uh, that being said, um, I, I have plans that on the 1st of January, um, you know, we're, we're going to do a one week check in, but on the 1st of January, we will get into only using this laptop when it comes to my everyday uh, life. And the only time I will use my, jig, my, my big, huge Mac is if I am streaming, because my whole setup's right there, and two, if I'm video editing. Other than that, we're going to switch to PC for a month to see how that works out. Anyway, um, Blue screen, blue screen. This is interesting. A lot to learn. Cool. I'm stoked. I'm gonna be learning so much, but most of all, happy gaming.